Hi everyone, before I get on to it, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and head over to my Patreon page to help support the channel. Today, we're going to look at choke cherry. Right here, we got a choke cherry tree. Now, choke cherry trees can grow upwards of about 30 feet, and with the fruit, you want to look at waiting for harvest until they're almost the same color as black cherries. You want to make sure that they're black. But the birds love choke cherries more than the black cherries, so you're going to be getting a slight reddish uh, tinge ones. The ones right here on this little branch are a little bit more redder that you're going to still need to wait a few days. But here's a photo of the more riper ones that you would want. Because underripe is going to be even more dry. That's why they're called choke cherries, because the choking factor. Now let's look at some of the identification of how this looks like. You want to look at the bark of how it looks of uh, structure. These uh, right here in this cluster are young trees. And the bark is going to be a young bark, so it's nice and smooth. You want to look at the structure of the leaves. The leaves are a small serrated rounded leaf with a almost on these because it's slightly in the shade, you can uh, get these in full sun or slight shade and it's a little bit lighter on the bottom and almost like a reddish tinge uh, kind of with some of this uh, one because it's in the shade uh, on the top of the leaf. So here's the close-up of the cherries. Now it's going to have the same structure like any ordinary cherry where it has the fruit going down the stalk. Now, some birds or insects went at this cherry right here uh, and it's a little bit shriveled up or the sun just got to it. Now see how bright red these are? Here's a better photo of that. Uh, these are the cherries that you don't want to pick and wait a few days. Now here's another photo uh, or here's uh, what this looks like. Now see how dark this one is compared to the rest? You want to wait until they're a little bit more darker like this compared to these. Okay. Let's try it. Very, very sweet up front. But now it's starting to get really dry. Instantly. It's not like it will dry out your mouth. It's that like where just that dry feeling like it's not good at all. But if you make a vinegar out of this or if you cook it a long period of time and then make fruit leather then it's good to go and what the natives used to do is actually grind the whole fruit with the seed of if you cook it for a long period of time and then dry it and then heat it um, it will get, release a lot of the cyanide that's in the seed and then it becomes safe to eat so this is a good um, fruit to get at because of the well it's cherry but Remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See you next time.